because for the most part our day is spent neglecting ourselves. We're devoted to our job, we're devoted to our family. If you have kids, your, ch your children, your spouse, those things. So we do neglect ourselves so much. Even someone like myself, I'm single, I don't have children, but I am devoted to X, Y, and Z, my entire routine all day. And so I have to find five minutes in the day to do some sort of self-care for myself. Maintaining a sense of independence, regardless of the situation, regardless if you're in a long-term relationship, regardless if you have kids, you always have to maintain a sense of independence, right? Like you have your gym routine, you have whatever, whatever, you're still a human being. And sometimes when you start to blur those lines and now you are with someone every single day or like things are changing in front of you, you lose that independence. You devote your life to your surroundings, whether it be a partner, or whether it be your kids or whatever. And then you often start neglecting yourself in ways, right? Because it's like, I have to devote myself into this relationship now. I'm now married. I'm now living with this person. Now everything, their ideals, everything is kind of coinciding with mine and it's kind of overlapping. And then you find yourself in the same cycle and years go by and the self care is out of the window. And now that's your identity. Your kids are your identity. Your the, the your old self is gone and that's scary. Give yourself the time, whether you have kids or not, or you're married or not, or you're in school or not. Like, it's not easy to get up and put some makeup on in the morning and just look, when you look good, you feel good. I say this in my makeup videos all the time. It's not about the makeup. It's not about trying to, it's about you. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adiz. What's up, family? What's up? Do you practice self-care? You know, interesting question, Niels, because we were talking about this earlier, and I often find myself like observing. I'm an observer. I like to observe my surroundings and the people. Like, you ever people watch? Oh, yeah. But essentially, like, I'm people watching my loved ones and stuff and kind of like peeping the scene with like, you know, their their life and like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing all my cousins have kids and they have beautiful kids and all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I'm a little nervous when it comes to like my own life and stuff. When I eventually have kids and stuff, it's like, I you devote your life to your surroundings, whether it be a partner, whether it be your kids or whatever. And then you often start neglecting yourself in ways, right? Because it's like, I have to devote myself into this relationship now. I'm now married. I'm now living with this person. Now everything, their ideals, everything is kind of coinciding with mine and it's kind of overlapping. And especially when it comes to kids, like, you know, <clears throat> and, and with work now, now that I work and I'm making money, you know, like back then, my self-care would be at, I, I want to go from sun up to sundown in the gym. I'd be working out. I was big at the time. I was like 195 pounds and like my, uh, my focus started to shift right now. I'm more so like, I want to make money. Like I don't have time to just be in the gym from sun up to sundown, even though I still go to the gym. I hoop all the time. I'm there for hours, you know, but like that is not my main priority anymore. And now I'm starting to see it lack. Like I don't have big muscles anymore. I'm starting to shrink like, you know, and like, yeah, like I'm finding myself like I need to maybe teeter back towards like making sure I, you know, do my self care. Like go get my haircuts on time. You know what I mean? Go work out on my own time. Like work on myself. Like I'm still, although like if I'm in a relationship or whatever, I'm still at these. I got to work on myself and make sure I'm feeling good and stuff, you know? What are things that you do for yourself that you consider self care? I think, uh, aerobic exercises in any way it's good for your mind it's good for your body and stuff um get a haircut you know uh I, you know have my together in a sense where like i'm just not get my car washed you know like stuff that make me feel good type stuff you know where i'm like not really living for others or living i need to refocus because i'm a human being too like i know i have to you know help my parents out for the most part which i really don't to be honest like they help me more than anything you know more than i would help them in any way but i'm saying like i i could see myself if i have a kid or something like that this is a huge example because i see whenever somebody does have a child they focus everything on that child and that's the best way to parent because now you brought a little one into this life they didn't ask for it right it's this beautiful little little person that's like a spitting image of you and you want to set them up for success but in doing that you can't really do the things you used to do. You can't really go the places you used to go. Like travel can be a big self-care for somebody, right? Getting your mind off of that. And I know that's something big in your life right now. But if you have a little one, 
the travel, you can't really travel with a little toddler, right? It's like, oh, you're going to give them to a babysitter and then, then you're, it's bad parenting and this, this and that. So it's like, I start to see that and I see that trend with people and I see that people, you know, aren't fulfilled in ways because like they're giving up all of their like, you know, self-care stuff for others or their relationship or their children or whatever. And it makes me sad because I'm like, you got to get back to you. You know, you got to get back to feeling your greatest and best self. So it's like, I think we should focus on that a little bit more. Yeah. I, as we grow older. I, I fully agree with you. I think that self-care, like, and I asked because I was like, what does self-care mean to most people? Like for you, it's like things you do for yourself that make you feel good. Same for me. I, the time I give myself is any, in any version of that, no matter what the, the case, I consider that self-care. Like, I love being alone. I love my alone time. And so, like, I love to do, like, a Sunday Sunday offset where I'll, like, go shopping. Like, just even if I'm not buying anything, just walk around the mall by myself, go to lunch, eat the foods that I like to eat, obviously treat myself with, like, you know, nails and, like, skin care. And then, like, working out has become a very, very hardcore element in my life that I consider is – care for not only my physical state but my mental state of mind and like I do it because that's that one hour I give myself in the gym that I just like neglect everything else because for the most part our day is spent neglecting ourselves we're devoted to our job we're devoted to our family if you have kids your ch your children your spouse those things so we do neglect ourselves so much even someone like myself I'm single I don't have children but I am devoted to x y and z my entire routine all day and so I have to find five minutes in the day to do some sort of self-care for myself and it doesn't have to be like sit down and give words of affirmation it's literally like in the morning when I get up and get ready for work I do my makeup that's a care for that's part of my self-care routine it feels good I get up and I get ready and I shower and I do a little spa treatment in my own bathroom and I put my makeup on and I feel good because doing things for yourself make you feel good about yourself and so like the gym even spending time with my family that's a form of care for myself because it's I'm f fueling my body I'm getting my energy through the people that I love but realistically speaking I think just giving yourself some space, even if you sit home and do nothing. I've spent some weekends literally at home all day doing absolutely nothing. A couch potato, probably door dashing and just binging TV. That's a form of self-care because I'm allowing myself to do nothing. It's the best feeling ever. But for people like you and I who are constantly on the go, constantly working towards our efforts and like our goals, it is hard to kind of find those small, small, small moments. And I know like lately you're like at the gym for hours because I, I know this and like, and I know I'm like, this is, he's doing this for himself. It's like what makes him feel good, you know? And I, and I, and I find those things and the, like another thing that I've been doing recently, it's like going on drives with my sister. I mentioned this before. I love that. It's like a late night drive at night through like the Golden Gate Bridge or something. That's self-care where we just listen to music. Another form is music. Oh my God. I like blast music in my place on my TV. So it's even louder. And I just let it play all the songs that I like to listen to, which a lot of people are like, oh, the f are you listening to? Like I listen to Italian music, Arabic, all this stuff. I love the way it makes me feel. So just little things. It doesn't have to physically be like, oh, get go to the spa, get a facial. It's like things that make you feel good is self-care. Do more of that, man. It's just like so peaceful. You owe it to yourself. Yeah. And the thing is, like when you're a selfless person, it's essentially impossible for you to be selfish at times. And it's, you have to, sometimes you have to be like, you know what? I need a breather. I need to go to the spa. I need to go get your nails done or whatever girls do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I actually I, hate getting my nails done, by the way. Like, really? I wish I could just leave my hands there and then come back and pick them up. <laughs> like, sitting down feels like I got them done yesterday and I was sitting there and I was like, I don't want to sit through this. It's like people find it like, even though you're getting a massage and stuff, like, Get it done. Get out. You know. Anyways, just just for the girls who get it, they get it. Like I hate getting my nails in, but I love having them done. Is that weird? Like, does it make sense? I feel you. You Me gotta too. sit there and it's like exhausting. <laughs> just get a manicure. <laughs> no, I'm actually no to no, like. What should. do they do? Like clean it clean up, it make up, it straight. Yeah. But look, bro, I be no, I mean, I be handling yeah, business. No, you have great hands. You know what you I keep mean? Them like so firm. I yeah. keep them. You like, can't have that. You don't you get know? manicures. Nah, I do wow, myself, you do this yourself? Bro. All myself. I respect you. Yeah. It's a huge my toes too. Yeah. I, I, you know, like, I don't like no, that. No, you like, got If you can't take dude, care of your yeah, feet down bro. there. Come on, man. You, you gotta, ain't take care of it. Even though I hoop a lot, it's just like. Oh, you have athletes? Feet. No way. I'll no, die. no. Hell no, bro. No, but it's like I, you know, I make sure, like, if I look down at my nails, right? Hygiene. And I'm like, okay. 
they, they're they like, nobody's really going to be staring at my nails, but it's for me. It's a little bit of self-care. I want to feel good. Yeah. I want to feel, you know, Manny Petty type. No, you, you do know? a great job. But to myself, you know, yeah. I don't, I'm not, you won't catch me in a little salon. Hygiene, all that. Hygiene, big time. Like for big me. Big time. I have to, like, self-care for me is making sure that I have my shower in the morning, shower after the gym, and not shower at night. Most people say that a little, ex- uh, what a little extensive, but I, I have to take a shower at night, and I have to Before in the morning. You get in the bed, I yeah. can't, like, roll over when I wake up at 5 p.m. and then <laughs> and, and just go about my day. Like, that's a self-care thing. Like, mm-hmm. and if I don't do it, and I have to run out of the house or something, which is never, I don't remember the last time I ever, like, probably ever in my whole life but like I, I would feel you know what i mean but it's like that's super dumb but like essentially no, making sure it's that you, makes yeah, you feel good you you don't want to lose yourself and when you get into a relationship for example like you know now you can't be as selfish as you once were when you were single right like you can't you're bringing a kid right you can't go get a ferrari unless you get the <laughs> suv you feel me or like like that so it's like I think it should be a healthy balance of making sure that you are still a human being in this life, yeah. right? Like, yeah, your your focus has shifted as you're growing older. You're now, you know, you used to go to school. It used to be simple. Now you have a job. You have people depending on you. You have a family you have to take care of, stuff like that. But it's like at the end of the day, no matter what, whether it's an hour a day, you know, an hour every few days or whatever, you have to focus on that self-care. And uh, it's important because like it will inhibit your growth because like I think a lot of people make excuses when it comes to self-care too because it's like, oh, I don't care because of this. Or oh, like, or, like my priorities and goals, I don't have time for that. Like I'm taking, I get that. And I can't speak as someone who doesn't have children, but I can't speak as we someone. We keep bringing it back to this. I'm so sorry, but it's like the one thing <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm starting me to too. see. So I, I do have, I'm in an era where everybody around me, and I, like sh- it's not easy being a mother. No Shout way. out to the mothers Poor and dad. the fathers. You know, like life happens, priorities shift. You have children and you your priorities in terms of, putting yourself first it does go out the window because you have to now cater your life around someone else who depends on you which is adorable but I also like know myself and I a lot of people may find this interesting but I I am not ready to have children anytime soon at all I one day if it's in the books but not today not in a year not probably in two years because I know myself and call me selfish I'm I'm selfishly not ready to um, put that part of my life out there just yet. I don't want to, I have so much I want to do for myself still. And I'm not saying that becoming a mother stops you from doing things for yourself. I'm just saying I know myself. And if I put, make, if I become a mother, I know I'm going to want to be the best mother possible. And so I'm not going to care about anything else except my child. And I do believe that you could have a balance of doing it all. You can, I mean, if you have the help, you have the income, you, it, it's expensive. Like you, people who can do what they want, essentially have nannies and all these things. Like I've seen it. So it's like, I know myself, like, I'm not there mentally also. Like, I think it's something that you have to be willing to understand that you can't just get up and get into your routine and your skincare and your makeup five minutes because your baby's crying and you have to get up and take them out and go to school and all these things. So it's like, I think it's a headspace thing. You have to be, and I know for, for, for myself, speaking personally, I have to be there mentally ready for that in order to be able to give that. And I'm not there yet. That's why I'm like, I still have a lot of things I want to do on my own right now, solo, you know, before I can bring someone into this world or even do it in a relationship with a significant other right now, I let alone have children. I just, I know myself and I still want to put myself first a little bit for a little bit longer as much as I can now in this aspect of my life where I can do things for myself. You know, I want to enjoy that a little bit. Yeah, I think the main key component in all of this, in my opinion, like you can have a different opinion, obviously like disagree with me if you disagree, but it's like maintaining a sense of independence, regardless of the situation, regardless if you're in a long term relationship, regardless if you have kids, you always have to maintain a sense of independence, right? Like you have your gym routine, you have whatever, whatever, you're still a human being. And sometimes when you start to blur those lines and now you are with someone every single day or like things are changing in front of you you lose that independence and everything is like this relationship or everything is this job my whole my life is dependent on this job I can't wake up and go do what I want because like I have to be there and then I go home and then I just go to sleep and then it's the same cycle and then you find yourself in the same cycle and years go by and the self-care is out of the window and now that's your identity your kids are your identity your 
the, the your old self is gone and that's scary and I don't want to do that. I want to always have a sense of independence in the sense where I'm still working on myself. I still have my identity, which is Adis, which focuses on his self-care as well as others, his relationship, his kids, whatever have you, right? Whatever God has written for me, you know? So it's like I see more and more with the people I love and my peers and my friends that are having children are in long-term relationships for seven, eight, nine, ten years that person that they were before it's night and day difference yeah. they're not that same person and they yearn for that they yearn for those times where they didn't have that attachment they yearn for those times where they could just wake up go to the gym not worry about anything but it's like no you can do that you might have to alter your approach right you might have to get a nanny for an hour you don't have to get a nanny for 12 maybe one hour go out you know go do your thing go hiking or whatever have you and then come back but it's like once you attach yourself to that new identity and then you become comfortable and then it almost becomes an excuse where you're like, oh, I have no time to go to the gym because like I'm dealing with this. And like, then that turns into resentment, toward, not towards your situation, and but then you, yourself. And yes, and then yeah. you do things that, you know, potentially could things up, bro. Yeah. And that's why you have situations where people lose that sense of independence and then they go on a trip with their friends and then they go do something potentially you know, like they go cheat or but they do, do whatever. They, yeah. And it's like, because they lost that feeling of like, I'm him or I'm her. And I'm still feeling that. Although I do have this attachment, whether, and it's a good attachment. Having kids is great. Having a relationship is beautiful, yeah. but you still have to have that level of independence where you're like, look, I have to still focus on Adis. I still have to focus on Mila, regardless if I'm in a different headspace, regardless if I'm in a different kind of, you know, in a new world, essentially. Yeah. And you I know? want that one day. I do. I want the family. Not I want saying the... it's bad. No, I want it. But I also know that right now I want to be able to just go to dinner and not have to worry about, hey, what are we eating tonight? <laughs> and I call me selfish. Call me, you know, whatever. Like, I, that's just my style of living. Like, if I just feel like going out and getting dinner for myself or door dashing, I don't want to have to, like, okay, whatever. I'm selfish. But, like, worry about what I got to f- eat with my person, you know, or what they want to eat. Or, like... Oh, you ate without me? Like, yes, I did. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Do you want something? <laughs> like, I can bring it to go. No, but that's the thing, bro. Like, and then- I just don't want to. Like, I'm, I'm not ready to cook and clean yet. Yeah. I'm not. I'm sorry and bless the women that do and the men. I respect you and I will one day. Yeah. But right now I'm busy. You feel me? Busy I'm on busy. yourself. Like, and I'm just like, I'm also not there. You have to be there, bro. You're adjusting your life. You're shifting your lifestyle. And if you're not ready, that's okay, too. I'm not ready. And so I want it. And many will argue, okay, you're wasting time. You're going to lose opportunity, all these things. And sure, so be it. Like, I am also happy on this side of the street. Like, the grass is not greener on either side. And both sides come with its flaws. Like that life has those circumstances and being single and living your life has its circumstances too. It does get lonely. You do come across like, Oh, what about me and my next are, when are you getting married? When are you having kids? Like, don't worry about it. You know, like it's not all green on both sides, but if it works for you in the state of life that you're in, then it works for you. And I've become comfortable in that. And I am at a place where I love my self care. I love my me moments. I love my go to the gym, come home, lay down, watch TV, do put some eye patches on and not report to anybody. I love that. And when you're at the point where you're willing to let go of that, right, you have to maintain a sense of self again because you will be. Essentially, one day you will be with somebody maybe, right? And like you will come to a point where it will be again blurred and you have to remember because there's a lot of people out there listening to this that do have kids, that do have families. And, and stuff. I love that. And I them. love that. And yeah. I want that too. Yeah. I, of course I want that. I do. But I don't want to suffer at, in a sense of myself yeah. where I'm giving up everything. Yeah. I want to remember that I have a sense of independence. I'm still a human being. And I, I care about myself in a sense where I want to care about things I care about and want to do things I care about still. You know, and it's a healthy I balance. I want to want it and I will want it one day. And I tell my friends who have children and are married, I'm like, oh, my God, like, I don't know how you do it. I couldn't do it. I'm like, I'm so proud of you. Like, you are built different. You are your strength levels are different. I couldn't. That's a skill like that. Being a mother, having children, being a wife, like 
it's not easy. It's not easy to the point where I don't, I don't think I could do it right now, you know? And a lot of women are doing it. They're doing the damn thing. Our mothers did it. Like they, they did the damn thing. And these strong, independent women are single women are doing it. Single moms are doing it like with no help. So props to these women. I don't have what it takes. So like I, I commend you, you know, but I also know that one day I'll hopefully get there when I'm ready for it and I want it. I don't want to force it for myself or pressure it when I'm just not ready yet. I'm not ready. Yeah, but you just back to just, you know. But doesn't mean that I'm not, yeah, self-care. Self-care. Yeah, like how do you Like say? I know you don't. <laughs> like like you, just... You're just like, I'm not. I'm ready and I'm like looking at you like self-care self-care self -care. Like, self -care. <laughs> all you need to do is get your hair done that's all we yeah. hear you it's fine go get your hair done <laughs> no but everybody out there honestly like you you can be ready or you can't be ready whatever it is you have to focus on yourself a yeah, little bit you have to be selfish love yourself bit. give yeah. yourself the time whether you have kids or not or you're married or not or you're in school or not like it's not easy to get up and put some makeup on in the morning and just look, when you look good, you feel good. I say this in my makeup videos all the time. It's not about the makeup. It's not about trying to, it's about you, how it makes you feel. Are you confident? When's the last time you felt, felt confident? Go put some makeup on. Yeah. Feel good about yourself. For what? Because that's so important. You have to yeah. feel good in order to, you know, you know, go about life in a way where, you know, you're happy and content. Yeah. Where can they find us? The moms are going to come for me. This. And every single guy that's on your bumper is going to be like, you red flag alert yeah, I know, it's fine. she doesn't want me no at least i keep a g real with them in the beginning for real i, I thought i wanted you don't travel with me? i want to go i did you did yeah. maybe it is what we change we change <laughs> where can they find us Niels? youtube.com slash the demon podcast tdp we out we out